What's up guys, Thermidor owner and backyard luchador, Alan Chapelier here. No, uh, over here, over here, right here. Yes, out here in the woods. And today we're gonna be making tacos with a side of tacos uh, piled high with a beautiful garnish of tacos. We're gonna be sauteing, broiling, roasting, hands-free, home connecting, all on our Thermidor. That is as soon as my two best friends on earth get done meandering very slowly across the mountainside. So we got a pork shoulder, shrimp, blood oranges, limes, oregano, probably a bunch of other stuff I forgot. First things first, I'm gonna preheat the oven, which takes about 10 minutes, which is great, because we're about 10 minutes from the house. Fire up the Home Connect app and get that going. I'm gonna select my oven, bake mode, Dial it down all the way to 225. You want it low and slow. Hit next, four hours, done, start, and just like that, we're preheating from out here in the middle of the woods. Isn't the future awesome? Ruth, if you think it's amazing, then lie down in the leaves and act very apathetic. Perfect timing. Oven's hot, meat is tempered. Let's get this party started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cube up this piece of meat. The reason we're using this pork shoulder for tacos is because it has really good fat content, a lot of really good parts that are gonna break down, get real juicy. All right, now we're gonna slice some onions. I got my knife skills from watching a lot of YouTube videos and practicing through trial and error. Now for some garlic. As you may know by now, I'm a huge fan of garlic. Uh, and because of that, I smell bad. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna slice this jalapeno. I'm gonna leave the seeds in because I like it spicy. If you don't like it spicy, cut it down the middle, take the seeds out, it'll be substantially less spicy. Next we're gonna add our spices, cumin and oregano. Then we're gonna finish it with the juice of two blood oranges. Double, last but not least, duck fat. Now, typically in carnitas, they use lard. You can also replace with vegetable oil. I happen to have duck fat, and when I have duck fat, I use it in everything. Little salt, little pepper, as always. The oven's preheated. This looks like food, so we're gonna put it in the oven, turn it into food you can actually eat. Don't eat raw pork. Super bad. <laughs> Before we continue with Taco Mania, let's talk the Home Connect app. Preheating your oven out in the middle of the woods is super awesome, but there's so much more you can do with it. Big picture, Home Connect is your home base for controlling the smart oven features of your Thermador. The app has four sections. First up, Home is where you go to add your appliances, discover new content, and uh, also where you go to find your latest mustachioed man bun cooking show content. Look at that guy, I know that guy. Next you have appliances. It shows you all your connected devices, your smart controls, your user manuals, your settings, specific start and stop times, set up your cooking program. You can even set it up to preheat your oven when you're on your way home from work. Discover is where you get inspiration, tips, and tricks for cooking on your Thermidor. And Assist is where you'll find helpful articles about your appliance. One more thing, Home Connect integrates with Alexa, allowing you to control your Thermidor with your voice. For a full list of the voice commands, check out the skills and games section of the Alexa app. I know that's a lot, but the best way to learn is by doing. So if you're a new Thermidor owner, download the Home Connect app, set up your appliances and play around. All right, back to tacos, yeah. We still got some time to kill, so I guess I'll go with a margarita. Next. Tortillas, we're gonna make our own. May sound scary, but it's only a little bit of effort for a lot of bit of difference. Two cups masa harina, about a cup and a half of water, a little bit of salt. Throw that all into your stand mixer and mix it up. All right, this is ready. Now we're gonna make some tortillas. First of all, we're gonna put the pan on the star burner and set that to medium high. Now we're gonna roll out our little tortillas. And now we press. Look at that, perfect circle. And then you have one corn tortilla. That will now go on the pan. We're toasting, no oil, no nothing. Doesn't take very long, couple minutes on each side. Well, that looks good. Look at this, plumping up. Come here. That's what you want. Get a little pillowy, that's how it lets you know it's done. Tortillas are done, but the carnitas aren't. So we're gonna take advantage of the warming drawer. The warming drawer has three settings, low, medium, and high. 140 degrees, 165, and 190. Not so hot that your food will keep cooking, but when you are ready to eat, it's the perfect temp. 
Next up, shrimp. But first, I want to show you something. Alexa, ask my oven when dinner's ready. Your oven will finish in 50 minutes. Thank you, Alexa. I love you. That's really nice. Thank you. Back to the shrimp. Couple of ingredients, salt, cumin, paprika. Just mix it up. Use your hands, get in there. And that's that. Those are ready to go in the pan. Shrimp doesn't take very long. You just wanna wait for it to change that nice pink color and do this. Yeah, make sure you flip it around a lot so people think you're a highly skilled and trained professional like me. Now we're gonna just finish up with some of this crema, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of lime juice. Gonna use the tiniest mixing bowl known to man. Gingerly stir it. That's done. And it's ready for one shrimp. Now we're gonna check on the carnitas. Uh, yep. I like the way they look. Love the way they smell. So this is pulling apart nice. This would make a perfect pulled pork, but it wouldn't be carnitas if we didn't crisp it up. So, Alexa, tell my oven to roast at 525 degrees. Okay, roast at 525 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. We'll just do a couple of minutes, but we got room to work. And now we relax for as long as it takes for you to listen to your favorite Yacht Rock song. And my margarita's done, which means the carnitas are done, because it rhymes. It's crispy, it's juicy, it's carnitas. I'm gonna give it a taste to make sure that I made it edible. I made them edible. There you go, Servant Turf Taco Mania, courtesy of your Thermidor. Now you go, put your Thermidor to use, get your hands dirty. Don't just talk about it, be about it. Take some pics, hashtag me on the TikToko, excited to see what you come up with. Till then, happy cooking.